The true purpose of Obsidian isn't taking notes, it's using notes. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you three ways that I intelligently resurface and use the notes I take uh, to create more original work. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to understand is the concept of resurfacing. So throughout your day, you're taking random thoughts down in your daily note, you're creating new reference notes for books you read or podcasts you listen to, and you're also creating original work in your notes, titling them and then filing them away in whatever system you have. Could be a structured file folder, could be just randomly in a big stack. That part doesn't matter. The part that matters is how do you find those notes again when you wanna create more work with them? So that's where resurfacing comes in. That's when notes either naturally or through force bubble to the surface and you can use them for future work. Um, one way to do that is randomly, which we're gonna to get to in a minute. And the other way to do that is searching. So if you know what you're looking for, um, searching is the way you want to go. The problem is in vanilla Obsidian, if you want to search for something, you go into the search bar and let's say you want to type in uh, business. If you don't collapse, collapse the results, you're going to get um, headings of all of the notes that mention business and then a big list of, of bullet points <laughs> or like, sorry, block quotes, block references within those notes. And then you have to parse through this to find something uh, that might make sense. If you don't want to do that, then the other way is to uh, control O for open. And then if you type in business here, I get a bunch of notes that have the word business in the title. But once again, that's not too helpful because I'm looking for actual, you know, meaty information that I might want to pull in. So instead, you can use a plugin called OmniSearch, a community plugin which I've installed. So if I search OmniSearch, it has this um, command called Vault Search, which you can map to a hotkey if you find this useful. But anyway, let's enter the Vault Search. So in here, if I type in business, which I've already done, uh, things look a bit different, right? So you've got uh, uh, Alex or Mosey's Perfect Business, a note I recently took. Um, and then you've got uh, the note below it, which is called the perfect business. And then it pulls in just a very, very relevant block reference that once again has the word business in it right there. Um, if I want to open this note, I just hit um, command enter and it opens a new pane. And then I can go back to the vault search uh, if I want to keep searching and pulling up more entries. Now, the reason why this is more useful than your um, traditional search is it uses an algorithm to surface stuff that's more relevant. Now, why is this more relevant? I can tell you what the algorithm is doing. These are notes that I've recently written or viewed that contain the word business in them. So that's why these are going to bubble up sooner um, than it, the notes I wrote, like, you know, years ago that I haven't touched. So here... How to get rich the three months, I can't even remember when I wrote this note. Um, so it's showing it all the way at the bottom versus at the top. Um, so this is a, an alternate way to resurface your notes. Um, but that being said, let's get into the real meat of this. How do you randomly resurface notes that might be useful to you that spark ideas for you to do further work? So for that, there's two plugins you can use. Um, one is Spotlight and the other is Simple Note Review. So I use Spotlight to resurface highlights for my Read It Later app called Omnivore, which ends up being um, resurfacing research that might spur ideas. So what I do is in my daily note, um, I put in a code block from this uh, plugin called Spotlight, Spotlight-Note. Uh, basically show me a random note with the tag Omnivore. All of my notes that come from my Read It Later app Omnivore have this tag. So every time I refresh this page or refresh this code block, it shows me a random uh, note full of highlights. So let's see what it shows me here. So here we go. So this is the title. This is basically like a, um, you know, a page within a page in Obsidian. It shows me the title and you reference data, who the author is. And then right below it shows me um, highlights that I had from that article. This, could, this is a random note. This could be a highlight I took yesterday. It could be a highlight I took three months ago. And it's going to be different every time. So every day when I pop open my daily notes or even every instance of it, I get a different highlight resurfaced. Um, and depending on the state of mind I'm in, I either might skim past this, which is fine because it's not a huge code block and then get to, you know, my daily note, today's note section, or I can actually utilize this uh, to create further work. So if I refresh the code block, you can see right away, this is also by Rob Henderson, the same author, a coincidence, I read him a lot, but there you see uh, the notes from uh, this article.
if I refresh it one last time, hopefully get a different author. There you go, different author, um, different publication and different highlights that I can look at if I so desire. So that's how I resurface my research, if you will. If I want to resurface notes that I've written, I have a more deliberate process. For that, I use a different plugin called Simple Note Review. Uh, it comes with this handy side panel here in which you can create a card set. So I have a current card set I call All. Um, if I want to know what's, if you want to know what's in that uh, card set, I can uh, adjust it here in the settings. So my card stack All uh, currently contains every note that's in my workbench folder, which is like notes that I'm actively writing, my reference folder, so that could be omnivore highlights, um, could be other books that I've written, podcasts I've transcribed on, and cards. Cards are live notes on my Obsidian published site, like my most polished writing. So in this setting, if you if I only wanted to show me my uh, my cards, like my active like polished writing, I could do that. But I like look skimming through everything together because once again, gives the more stuff I put in here, the more variety of highlights I'm going to get, the more it'll spark a flow for me. So once you've set up a card, um, you just hit this die roll, and it opens a random note. So here, this random note is actually a um, omnivore highlight. Let's hit random again. This is now a uh, summary of a book called Drink that I read in 2022, um, and I've got some notes here. So from here, um, you can take some actions. You can basically set the review frequency of this note to low, medium, or high, or you can mark the, mark the note as reviewed and just go to the next file. So if I hit reviewed, it's going to add in a piece of, very quickly, you saw it there. I'll actually pull up the note so you can actually see it uh, more clearly. Drink. It adds metadata, which tells you when it was last reviewed. So this note was reviewed on August 11, 2023. Uh, it basically tells the Simple Note Review app that uh, you know last time you reviewed it, essentially. And if on this same note I wanted to, you know, say, hey, this isn't something I want to prop, you know, pop up in my resurfacing exercises often. I can set the review frequency to low, so this is going to pop up, pop up a lot less often. In the app itself, um, you can set some more uh, parameters there on how you want all of this to work. Uh, but this is how I look through my notes. Just literally come up with a note set, hit the die roll, and see what it's going to bring me next, uh, and then go from there. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope this helps you make better use of your notes. If you like, follow for more. See you next time. Peace.